Y'all know nothing about this. You need to pay attention. Sit back and relax. It's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. video where I'm going to do a street food compilation video showing the different uh, street foods and also giving some tips for first timers which I learned the hard way when I was here four years ago if one of these food carts does not have a menu with prices you have to ask first because when I was here the last time I asked for a hot dog didn't ask the price end up paying like $12 for a hot dog and a water Anyway, I got the hot sausage. I asked first. He says, for you, $5. If I hadn't asked, guarantee it would have been 10 bucks. Anyway, this is, I think, like a halal. Yeah, they got the falafel, uh, lamb over rice, so it's, it's halal friendly. All right. Hot sausage, spicy mustard, relish. All right, great first start. First stop, we just got here two hours ago. Got a lot more coming, be right back. All right, so I'm on my second stop of New York street food. This is actually where it all started for my YouTube channel, was the Halal food cart where I had a chicken and rice. I videoed it, I put it on Facebook, thousands of people saw it and then we went on vacation I did the same thing when I got back uh, from vacation so many people have watched my chicken and rice from the halal food cart I decided that I needed to start a YouTube channel so this has sentimental reasons for me first of all because it's so good and second of all because this is actually where the beginnings of my YouTube channel started so as you see here they make it right in front of you Got all those goodness fixings there on the grill. And uh, Mackenzie got a chicken and rice, and I got one coming, and we'll be right back. All right. As you see, I guess uh, this is, would be technically a chicken shawarma. It's the, the grilled chicken with the yellow rice. Mm. Well, let me tell you something. Kenzie and I both got the chicken and rice. They didn't have lamb today. But he put some kind of sauce on it. He called it three seed or something like that. Very spicy. Of course, it comes with the white tzatziki sauce. It comes with a little salad on the side. And they take a grilled pita. And chop that up. But this is the inspiration that started my channel. Because this is one of the best things you're ever going to have in your life. And when you come to New York and you're on a budget, you definitely want to get here. Because both of these plates were $16, $8 a piece. You're not going to find a better deal anywhere in New York City. All right. Stay tuned and join me on the next stop of my New York street food tour. Okay, here's another big value, is if you're looking for breakfast, they have uh, the sausage egg, bacon, egg, and cheese, but they use turkey sausage and bacon, so it's fairly healthy. Also, you can get uh, cheap coffee donuts, all kinds of different pastries. But I got the sausage, egg, and cheese, which I'll show you here in just a second. All right, so as you see, as I was saying, if you're on a budget, and you're trying to do a New York City trip, 
and play it cheap and you want good food, you're not going to get much better than this. The sausage, egg, and cheese and that special bun. Look how big this is. And I got mine with mayonnaise and hot sauce. So you can get it any way you want it. Four dollars. You're not gonna find a better sandwich in New York City for four dollars than right here at this halal food cart. Alright. There's my breakfast for the day, and I'll be back with more later. Got another halal food cart. I'm gonna get a little lamb gyro. See how that goes. Can't beat a good gyro. And I'm living off these halal food carts. All right, be right back. I gotta place my order. Gyro, please. Yeah, no fries, just the sandwich. All right, here we go. This thing is just crammed full of lamb. By the way, it was only $9. It's gotta weigh at least a pound. All right. Goes up to me. I would have eaten every meal in New York at a at a food cart. You're not getting any better deals and as good a food as you get right here on the street. And especially these halal food carts are awesome. All right, stay tuned. Join me at the next stop. I'm not done yet. Center, and as you see here, this is the mecca of street food. We have just about every country you can think of represented here, every type of food. And there's hundreds of people here, and there's got to be at least 20 to 25 street food vendors here. And I'm kind of eyeballing something right now, but I'm going to look down the whole road before I make my decision. I'll be right back. I have decided on the South Philly cheese steaks. I haven't had a cheese steak this whole trip up east here. So they're claiming South Philly cheese steaks. So we're gonna see what they got here. Yeah, we want uh, two full cheese steaks with the cheese and the onion and everything. The full works. Get to see the whole process here. Gotta have that cheese whiz. Booyah. Perfection. All right, that's one of them. We got another one coming. He's on the camera. Come on in here and get a close up. And these guys, I talked to the, the manager there. He said this is authentic South Philly cheese steak. We got a little side of uh, cherry peppers. Here we go. Got the cheese whiz. Mmm. Mm. That's awesome. It's French bread. Bread's really tasty too. I'm gonna wash it down with this Diet Coke. Mackenzie's over here behind me. She's eating a one. Eating one. All right, 
Melissa got something from a ramen booth. And, Ma and Mary got something. We're going to check out what they got. We'll be right back. So Melissa's gonna let me try her food. It's Japanese, I think, or is it? Yeah, it's Korean? Japanese. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. And yeah. Gyoza. Gyoza dumplings. Pan fried dumplings. I don't know what's inside those. Okay, what kind of sauce is this? I don't know. Well, I want to try it out anyway. You know how I like the sauce. Yeah. Keep your bites small. I okay. waited a long time for that. I hear you. Very tasty dumpling. No double snapping turtle. No double snaps. Little child's portion bites here. That Asian fried chicken's outstanding. The dumplings, they're juicy. They have some kind of soy that's like inside them or they poured on it. Very tasty. And that dip, whatever it is, it's tangy. You're down here, World Trade Center. Definitely stop and get some of this uh, Asian dumplings and chicken. And that South Philly was the truth too. All right, be back. Stay tuned. Join us for the next stop. Just the best hot dog in New York. Like the sign says. Seven? I'm going to New York to Oh, so this isn't the best New York hot dog? It is. Yes. Okay, okay how much? All right, thank you. All right, we're going to see here. You know, I had to end it up here with a hot dog. My last night in New York. It was only fitting that I get a hot dog. Got the onion, sauerkraut, and mustard. Here we go. Mmm. All right. This might be the best hot dog in New York. Right here at 53rd and 5th. All right. We're going to wrap things up. I hope you enjoyed my little tour of street food. Can't wait to come, come back to New York again. We're going to leave in the morning. I don't know. If I see something else on the street, I might go ahead and, and put that clip in. But as of right now, this is going to be my last stop. And y'all don't know nothing about this New York street food. Always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.